This video explains how I built a hitch rack to carry my e-bike. I used two inch by two inch square tubing and started by drawing out the plan on a piece of paper. After I had my measurements, I cut the steel out with the porta band. Chop saw would have been preferred, but I don't have one and I didn't want to buy one for this project. The porta band did leave some unclean cuts, which provided poor fit up. But the good thing about metalworking is you can always fill in the gaps if you have poor fit up. Next, I drilled the hole for the hitch pin. I used special drill bits that worked with the impact driver. My only downfall is I had a 12 volt impact and one battery, so this took a long time. I would suggest either using an electric drill or get a larger impact driver that's battery operated and have a couple batteries on hand. Alright, so here's the bike rack. Got it framed down. I'm going to start tack welding it. So basically, the back wheel will sit right here. The front will sit right there. That's about 19. This is going to be moved over here a little bit, so that's going to be about 18. And I got the tongue long enough to where it's going to ride out a little ways. And once I get everything together, I'm going to put some sidebars like that. Next, I tack welded all the pieces together. Just put small welds, just in case I had to fix something. After they were all together, I laid the rack on the ground and I put the bike in place to make sure the tires fit up right. As you can see, it fit great. I couldn't test the bike on the truck, so I turned it upside down and put the rack on top. After confirming that everything fit correctly, I finished the job by welding all the pieces together. This was definitely my favorite part of this project. It also took the longest, but I really liked to weld. I decided to use my stick welder for this project because I am a little ways from a 110 outlet and stick welders tend to do better on 110 power. They're less likely to pop a breaker like a MIG welder would. I've got a 100 foot extension cord and I'm using 332nd and 116th welding rods. All right, I got it done. Instead of putting the tubes on, I put these cut off an inch piece of angle iron. And that's where my straps will go. Ground down most of the welds. Put these in to stabilize it a little bit. Got the hole drilled for the trailer hitch. And this afternoon I'm gonna sand everything down, wipe it down with acetone, paint it black. Then Lou and I are gonna go for a ride somewhere outside of this neighborhood. I cleaned up the welds with a flap disc and then I uh, polished the steel with a wire wheel. It gets it nice and shiny and ready for paint. I wiped all the rust and dust away with acetone and spray painted it with a high gloss Rust-Oleum spray paint. It was really windy that day, but I was ready to complete this project. And the paint really looked good when we were done with it. It was shiny and the paint dried pretty fast. The rack ended up weighing 31 pounds, which makes it pretty easy to put on myself. And the bike weighs about 65 pounds, so it doesn't put a whole lot of weight on the back of the truck. We've taken it on two 10-hour round trips in my wife's Armada, and it worked really well.
bike strapped down and ready to go. Thanks for watching my video.